Hi, glad you're here and welcome to Bob. When it comes to Bob, the best place to get started is by importing your people data. Before you can do that, here are a few things to note. Make sure you have all of your sites created in the settings section before importing. You can easily set this up and once all the sites are created, you are ready to go to do your import. To start, go to the people directory and head to the import section. In this section, you are going to see a few different things. Import people, update people and import table. Import people, here's where we go to create employees in the system. Update people, use this import whenever you are updating any information in bulk on the system. Import table, select the table you wish to import into from the drop-down menu, such as work, employment, salary and so on. These are the different tables that can be found on the employee profile. Each row in the table will have an effective date and each effective date will create a new line of data on the table for you, letting you track historical changes. Now we're ready to get started. To import your people data, please ensure that the template spreadsheet is populated with all the required fields. These are first name, last name, email, start date, and site. Our template sheet is available for download on the system or from our help centre in the implementation articles. If any additional columns have been added to the spreadsheet, ensure that you have created these as custom fields on the system before doing the import. This can be done by going to Settings and Employee Fields. Now select your file and complete your upload. This is the screen where you're going to map all of your fields into Bob. Hover over each section to ensure the mapping is done correctly. If you see this warning symbol, don't panic, click on it and you'll be able to drag and drop any unrecognised fields to match current data on Bob or you can create it as new data like this. As you can see, our reports to field is currently unmatched. We will import this field when we do the update next. Now we are ready to click next and import our data. Great, so all of that was imported correctly. Similar to the bulk import, you can also carry out updates. We recommend using this feature immediately after you import your people to update the employee's reports to managers. The effective date must be provided so that Bob knows when the change took place. Now that we've covered that, let's go ahead and import the reports to managers. We're going to follow the same steps we did for our initial import. Let's go to the same area on the system and import in the same way using the update. With the update, you'll be asked to select an identifier. We suggest using email addresses. If you're presented with an error message, don't panic. Bob will explain to you the type of error and allow you to download an error report so you can use this as a reference point. Some frequently seen errors are missing paths, which means there is a mandatory field that is needed and is missing somewhere. Number value expected would be seen if a field has a letter within it when it should contain only a number. In this case, we have one error message. We have a number value expected error. Be sure to export your error report and don't just close the window. We're going to fix our errors directly on this template. And once the errors are all fixed, we're going to save this template and we will re-import it into the system again using the update people. We hope you found this helpful. Look forward to your feedback.